The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Welcome back, folks. Uh, welcome, folks. Uh, you know, uh, of course, uh, Steve Rhodes is on the road. He's doing the Master Trader Series in Denver, Colorado, uh, today and tomorrow. This is Tom O'Brien. We appreciate you coming out here growling and prowling with us. Right now, we get the um, S&Ps are down one. You get the NASDAQ up one. Gold's up 14 bucks, trading at 16.56. We get the uh, 40. Uh, silver up 42 bucks at 31.74. Oil is uh, flat at 105. Bonds, bonds are up 18 ticks, trading out at 137.20. King dollar is down uh, 34 cents at 79.65. You get the euro up 51 at 132, and the yen is down 16 at 82.38. Uh, Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? Now, in the world of TVIX, folks. Um, and this is pretty wild watching this whole thing shake out. So TVIX, okay, let's go through what it is first. Because um, when we were talking about it yesterday, uh, what you had yesterday is this. TVIX is a, a velocity share exchange traded note. Now this note, folks, this is the wild thing about it. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of wild things about it, actually. And the biggest thing that I've, when, when I look at this, is this. Is that you had, this is... Not just a retail deal. There's, there were large money managers going in this, hedge funds going in this, in order to hedge their portfolio. Which, let me tell you something. As a trader, you, you know, those hedge funds, whoever put those trades on, absolutely knows zero about how to put a hedge on. This is not a, that is that is not the vehicle to hedge number one. But anyway, let me go through this thing because this is so bizarre; it's unbelievable. But I, what I want you to get out of it is that when you think that um, if you think that a professional knows more than you, quote that professional. Let me tell you something, folks. If you're listening to us at TFNN, it it, it doesn't happen. It, it doesn't happen. And I'm not saying that you know because you know we are here and we created the company. And I'm not saying that reason. I, I that's that's a that's a knowing. Okay, now let, let me walk you through this. Okay, this is what's really wild. So this vehicle, so first off, an exchange-traded note, folks, is a structure, it's a structured product, and it's a debt on a bank. It's an unsecured debt. So the bank gets to make the product, it's unsecured, and you make shares and you destroy shares, okay, as people buy and sell them. Okay, bottom line is that there were so many people that were going into this that in February, uh, Deutsche Bank, I believe it's Deutsche Bank, they decided, okay, we're not going to make any more shares. shares. This is insane. See, they knew what was going on. They knew that what are people doing? They're buying, buying, buying when this is a cash closeout. That's, that's, so exchange-traded notes, all exchange-traded notes, number one, folks, are cash closeouts. So it's what is it worth cash? Well, make a long story short, this baby was trading it. Um, fourteen dollars. It was trading at eighty nine percent over its net asset value. So that means that if they, at the end of the trading day, if they decide to close this down, someone paid eighteen dollars, uh, fourteen dollars for it, and it was really worth seven seven dollars and forty cents. Okay. Bottom line: yesterday it implodes. It goes from fourteen dollars to ten. Now, when we were on the air last night, I was I was turning around, and if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, I'm going to show it to you right now. I was saying, well, you know, even at ten, and with a couple of tigers that. I says, get out of it. Get out of it, man. Okay? Because the net asset value on this is $7.83. Well, sure enough, close at ten twenty last night. Now it's at seven twenty-eight. You're gonna see this. This is gonna go right back to seven eighty-three. That's how it has to go back to. Okay? What can you get out of this? What you want to get out of this, folks, is this. Let me go over. I'm gonna go over to the Sprout Fund. Because this has happened many times in the Sprout Fund. And People are trying to figure out why they've lost so much money and whether it's gold or silver hasn't even moved. Okay, the Sprout Fund, which is, I'll start with the Physical Gold Trust, which is PHYS. This fund right here, now this is not that bad now, okay? This fund here is trading at a 2% premium. That premium has been as high as 10 or 11%. That, those premiums contract and expand. Then they have big, big problems if you don't understand what you're getting involved in. 
because what you're doing is that you're overpaying for a product that, when all said and done, is only worth so much money. So keep that. Now, if you're getting, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with, well, I don't, I don't like that VIX product, period. But let's picture that you got another product. What you want to do, I believe that you're going to go into uh, Yahoo on any of those products. And what you'll be able to do is put, you put the symbol and you put dot IV. And that would give you the net asset value. I happen to have the net asset values on, on them, when, just the way my screens are set up. But bottom line, folks, buyer beware. And I mean beware in a huge way. Let's go overseas and uh, we'll start over in uh, Asia, folks. We'll take a look at Asia last night. So uh, we'll start off in uh, Shanghai. Shanghai was off 1%. And all the sectors in Shanghai were, bottom line, red. Now... If we take a look at where Shanghai is, where it's going, uh, what you had with Shanghai is this. We came off a high on the 14th, monster volume. We went from a 24.79 down to 23.82. Now we're at 23.49. I suspect Shanghai is going to try to get into this 22.68. So Shanghai has about another 100 points down. The, if we go to uh, Hong Kong... Oh, let's go to the Nikkei, because the Nikkei, the reason we want to go to the Nikkei next is this. The Nikkei, folks, is something that you're going to want to buy on a retracement. The Nikkei, my take on the Nikkei is that that baby's not only off the bottom, that wants to go a lot higher. Why? Because of the yen. So, last night, Nikkei is trading at 10,000. We have, was down a buck 15, and that Nikkei uh, had come off that bottom of 8,000, 8,500. You want to get your head wrapped around this baby at about 9,300. 9,300, you got some, you got some action out here. Um, so that's still about another 700 points down, but wrap your head around that. If we go over to the yen, you take a look at the yen. What you have is this. The yen, folks, is, let's see, it's trading at 82.38. It's starting its retracement back. So remember something with the yen. The way the yen works is that higher number, weaker yen, better for what? Better for their equity market over there. Better for Sony. Better for Toyota. Better for any of those um, large industrial firms. Toyota is kind of, they're, they're all over the world, but bottom line, it's still better for them. So the yen right now, we're at 82.39. You know, the yen can come all the way back to 79.53. You get it back there, you're going to want to be all over those. Uh, let's, go to, let's go to Sony. Let's look at Sony for a second. We, we pull up SNE. What you have with Sony is this. Sony came off a bottom of 16, goes to 22. It's retracing now. Sony, you want to be all over Sony at approximately uh, 1932. And let me just see something. Yeah, 1932, you want to be all over it. And if we pull up Sony and you take a look at this, well, now well, let's watch, we'll take a look at this on a, a longer term basis. What you're going to see is this. Sony came all the way back to, you, you want to see something that's just absolutely bizarre. Sony came all the way back to, let's see, 17, ever hit? Yeah, it hit 15. Okay, this is amazing, actually. It came back to 1987. So Sony had started out, you know, at nine ten dollars In 87, they crash. It got down to $11 and ended up finishing the year out at $18. Goes from eighteen dollars all the way up to one hundred and fifty-six. Goes from one hundred and fifty-six dollars in two thousand all the way back down to seventeen. And the way it looks to me, what you had is this: is that Sony's been basing out for quite a while. In two thousand and nine, you had a lower low. You hit fifteen sixty-four. You did that on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, which is really cool. With one hundred eighty-one million. Well, you know what? You came into that, folks, with eighty-four million. The test was uh, in December. So, bottom line. You want to, you know, you talk about want to want to see something and want to look at something for a longer term basis. That's where you want to be. Now let's go over to the gold market. Uh, we have with gold out here. Gold today is up 13 bucks. You're talking about a Friday, and the gold loves to move all over the place on Fridays. Now you you have 13 dollars. You're trading at 1656. You have 62,000 contracts. That's not even close, folks. Not even close. Gold is in a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. And all this is doing 
is building cause for ABC structure inside a larger ABC. So uh, you just see gold is going into the it's going into two separate downdrafts. The smaller downdraft is March 14th. March 14th, what you had is this: is that you came down with 279,000 contracts. Well, you're going up with 62. We'll probably do about 120. Well, 120 doesn't get it, folks. What's going on with gold? Gold wants to make its way back to the bottom of the consolidation. That bottom of the bottom consolidation is at 1565. Now, let's go over and take a look at Rango Resources. <coughs> Rango Resources, folks, had been the strongest gold equity the past six years in the, in the, in the whole market. Uh, Bottom line, you stay right there. We're going to get coming right back. This is Tom O'Brien. I'm in Mr. Steve Rhodes. He's out there growling and prowling doing the Master Trader Series uh, today and tomorrow in Denver, Colorado. He is going to be, of course, back with you on Monday. He's going to be doing a Master Trader Series Tampa, Florida, April 13th, 14th, Boston, Massachusetts, April 27th to 28th. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. X-Story Gold Mines, an NYSE Amex-listed company trading under the symbol XG, is slated to be the newest gold-silver producer in Argentina. X-Story is forecast to produce more than 250 million in bullion annually, beginning in 2013, at a cash cost of less than $200 for each ounce of gold produced. That forecast will make X-Story one of the highest margin operators in South America and a sector leader in the mining industry. X-Story has 50 million in its treasury, having spent over 60 million to date on drilling and engineering. The ultimate size of its Argentina discovery could be determined by year end, as results from the six drills operating at the site are fully assessed. To find out more about X-Story gold mines and their exciting growth potential, click on their banner on the front page of TFNN.com or check them out on the NYSE Amex under the symbol XG. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of investment newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today, click Investment Newsletters, and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of the money game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look, fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You are born to be a money master and I'll teach you how. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's new trading newsletter, Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the forex market, and more. And you'll get the Technical Corner segment, which is a short but powerful weekly training session on trading. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you just the edge you've been looking for. Try patterns, profits, and peace of mind absolutely free for two weeks. Go to TFNN.com and click on the free trial link at the top of the page. That's an $85 value, yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's patterns, profits, and peace of mind and get the edge you've been looking for. 
Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it just, it's just wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Tom O'Brien uh, filling in for our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Steve's doing a master trader out there in Denver, Colorado, with all those tigers and tigresses. Great day for a uh, master trader, no doubt. Um, Market-wise, you get a flat market out here. We had the, the FTSE is off... Uh, at 21 points, DAX is down 27, no big deal. Um, you know, the, the larger take, folks, is that what you had here, you know, can't bust it up, can't bust it down. Bottom line on a Friday, I suspect we're going to go sideways, uh, no big deal. Uh, those uh, shots aren't ready to basically get on there yet. Uh, the, uh, if we go over to the XLE, if you want to see uh, inside the XLE energy, that is the first place that Volume has come out. Well, outside of the golds. Volume come out of the golds. Volumes come out of the XLE now. Any bounce in the XLE, you want to be selling. We had a, the XLE took out the B point yesterday, took it out with volume. Bottom line, uh, XLE is at 71.47 uh, right now, and that thing wants to trade down to 58. So that's going to be a big trade. Um, one of the uh, Tigers, uh, and thanks for that heads up uh, in their uh, G7. Um, you know, we we're talking about the. Uh, the exchange-traded funds, the exchange-traded notes. Uh, okay, there's another one out here, folks. If you are in this thing, get out of this thing ASAP because what you're going to see now is this. Now, see, the amazing part, if you actually go on the Internet and you actually pull up what, what went on with TVIX, you're not going to find a lot of, you're not going to find the factual information that went on. There's, there's one or two articles out there out of about 200. Um, bottom line is that this vehicle right here, the GAZ, has right now a 97% premium. So watch this, folks. So this is this closed yesterday at four dollars and ninety cents. It's trading right now. The bid is four seventy nine. The offer is four eighty six. Right. If this closed today, because you got to remember something, an ETN is a cash payment. This equity is only worth two dollars and forty four cents. They'll go right after this again. This this is going to get. This is also going to get imploded. Because what, once the market understands what's going on, and it's amazing, to th think about that for a second, that folks don't understand what's going on. But once they do understand what's going on, what do you think is going to happen? What a, gr what, a, what a great trade, because all you have to do is you shot this side of one, and you find another one that is trading at uh, net asset value. And you go along that one, and that's that's a no-brainer. You know, that's you're going to clean that money up because that's going to compact. It's just a matter of uh, how it's going to compact. But after a acceleration down like we had in TVX, I suspect that that's going to compact and it's going to compact very quickly. Let's go over take take a look at the bond market out here. Now, bonds, no doubt. Um, right now, bonds are up 13 ticks. You're, you're trading at 137.15. Now, bonds, what, what the 30 year did is this, folks. The 30 year comes back to the October 27th lows, does it with lighter volume, and now, now I expect interest rates to even go lower. You know, and, and bonds, they're going to go attack the 144, and we'll see whether they attack it with volume. They attack it with volume, you're getting into 160, and that's going to bring rates down, just blowing people's minds. What we do need now, though, you need a sign of strength. Um, you know, we'll see whether we get that sign of strength and get back inside the, the higher range. The higher range in the 30-year bond is 138.18. That's how that is uh, shaken out. Let's go take a look at, yeah, we can go take a look at another ETN and see what the premium is on this. Well, actually, this is an ETF. Let's see. Uh, oh, this gets interesting. So look at this. Uh, well, here it is. One of the targets says, well, uh, what about uh, UNG? So watch this. Now watch how this works. This is a U.S. natural gas fund. This is at a negative premium. So watch how this goes. 
This closed at $17.83. It's trading at $18.12. I have a feeling that people are doing this already. Yeah. So what, what is happening is this, is that this equity here is trading under what it's worth if, in fact, everything got sold at the end of this trading day. Now, the difference is, is that this is not a cash payment. This is, this is a, a, you know, a, a trust. But bottom line is that when, you, when we talk apples and apples, net asset value, you're buying this under what it's actually worth if everything was sold. You know, it's only 1.2%, but uh, there you go. That, 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 would be, uh, yeah, that would be the trade. Now, the real key is that uh, GAZ. Let me just see something. If I, what I expect you're going to see out here, they, they, this is going to be interesting watching this shake out today, I'm telling you. Uh, because the real key is going to be, can shares be lent on this uh, GAZ? That's going to be the big thing. Can, can their shares be lent on? This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We get this market open in uh, about uh, 45 seconds. Right now, you get uh, the futures flat. We're going to be right back. In the world of financial markets, there's a new player in town with an exciting new way to trade the markets. Nadex now offers binary options as well as bull spreads in a wide range of indices along with commodity and forex markets. With as little as $100, you can gain access to a new way to trade global financial markets while guaranteeing that your risk will always be capped. Nadex allows you to multiply your trading opportunities in ways never imagined before and access markets you want once thought were out of reach. With short-term trading opportunities available, including binary options expiring each hour the market is open, Nadex allows you to take advantage of a variety of market conditions regardless of volatility or market direction. Now is the time to take advantage of this exciting new market. Don't let this trading opportunity pass you by. Open your account today by clicking on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Nadex, a better way to trade. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stop placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. In just December of last year, the price of gold was down over 10%. In today's highly volatile gold market, you need someone in your corner that understands the complex relationships that exist within the price of gold, as well as within a variety of gold equities. Whether it's the South African gold miners and knowing how the RAND dollar relationship will affect their bottom line, or understanding how John Paulson's $5 billion trade in the GLD can move the market, Tom O'Brien gives you the direction you need to become a better trader each week in his newsletter the gold report with over 20 individual equities covered and almost another 20 on the potential watch list each week in addition to covering the xau hui gld and dollar the gold report is a great source for any trader that is looking to be diversified in today's volatile gold market for your 30-day free trial to tom o'brien's gold report log on to tfnn.com today don't miss out on this great offer act now what type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. 
Health Insure Your Portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley Smith Barney believes that a carefully selected portfolio can lower volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and the Morgan Stanley Smith Barney Financial Advisor can do for you. Call Angela O'Brien, first vice president and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC. Member SIPC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien filling in. Our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes. Uh, Steve is out in Denver, Colorado today uh, doing the Master Trader Series. He is going to be back in the, uh, the seat on Monday, of course. Uh, he also is doing a Master Trader Series in Tampa, Florida, April 13th and 14th. That's a Friday and Saturday. Boston, Massachusetts, April 27th and 28th. You can get all those details on the front page of TFNN. And that Master Trader Series, by the way, does come back with an unconditional money-back guarantee. Okay, so the bell is out here. What do we have? You get a flat market, folks. Uh, the Dow's off four, NASDAQ's up two. Uh, Apple's up two, and it's all about Apple, of course. Um, gold is uh, up 11. Uh, they, they're going to they're gonna go after gold. It's going to be interesting watching this thing shake out because gold is uh, doing a... An ABC structure down inside a larger ABC. So always remember something. It's the larger picture that overtakes the smaller picture. Um, and in Gold's case, you have two separate ABC structures. What happens there is that it makes the larger one even more powerful. Uh, we have bonds up 17 ticks. Let's go take a look at, uh, off the bat, what some of the high-volume stocks are out here. You get uh, BAC is down uh, 13 cents. You get KB Home off 126. We're going to get back to that one. That's that's doing a natural retracement. Pretty cool, actually, how it's doing it. Um, uh, Pluty is off uh, 41. That's another home builder. We get Oracle up eight. You get GE off nine. Let's see, Ford's off two. Apple is up a buck 48. Now let's go into I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is this. Let's see, all sectors. No, I'm going to go into the energy sector. The reason I want to go into energy is that uh, energy, basically, the oil and gas is, uh, you know, our shot position. Not at this point, but on any bounce, the shot position. So you get Schlumberger up nine right now, nine cents, that is. Chevron's down 26. Uh, let's see, Weatherford, uh, it's really a flat market out there. We'll go into technology and see what we have uh, inside technology right now. Technology's a mixed bag. The only one that's up, it's kind of interesting, actually. The only one that is up is uh, Apple. Okay, so... Market-wise, what, what can you expect out here today? What I expect you're going to see, folks, you're going to see basically a flat market. Uh, Friday, so, so if, we, if we look at the S&P right now, you know, it, it's basically lulling everyone to sleep. Uh, the S&P, we're at 1392. Uh, you can take, we're at 1362 if we go back to February. If you actually want to go back to last year, and this is where it gets really interesting, um, you know, Back in August, we were at, uh, let's see, where were we? 13th, so there's, yeah, back in April, a year ago, we are at the exact same level. That, that's where we stand right now. If we take this and, I'll, let me bring up, I'll bring up the SPY, actually, so you can see what the correlation is. If we bring up the SPY, and you see how this baby is shaking out at this particular point, put this on a five-year, put it on a weekly okay so this is this is where it stands we're at 139.12 um, last may when it was selling man go away it was 136 130 yeah one, well no 137.11 uh, the way we had come down we had come down with 2.2 billion shares and then 2.4 well you know what folks we went out and tested that whole level up there with 750 million that doesn't fly now, the way a false break works upside or down, like, so a thrust up, uh, 
a downdraft goes like this. As soon as you get back inside the range, which this is not yet, we'd have to come down another 20 S&P points to get back inside the range. Uh, in this case, if we're talking about the SPY, when you get back inside 137.18 on the SPY, that would be a confirmation that was a false break top side. Now, to me, you know, I'll... We'll see when it gets back inside there, but it's already a false break topside. The reason being is that, to me, is that you don't, when you go over highs, and we're talking about 700 million versus 2.2 billion, that doesn't fly. But the confirmation is still, you get back inside it. Now, what you also, well, what I want to see is this, is that when you get back inside it, what? Expansion of volume. If, if, when you get that and you get the expansion of volume, that does two different deals. That says that you have, are inside the markdown period once again. If we go over to the gold contract right now, we take a look at gold. Uh, let's take a look at the gold. Okay, so you can see when I started the program, we're at 61,000 contracts. You're only at 69. This doesn't fly. What that's saying is bottom line is that it can't make it higher. It's going to make it lower. Uh, KBH. Let's go over to KB Homes. Now, KB Homes come out with numbers this morning. Uh, this is down a buck 65 or 15%. 11% rather. Uh, when we take a look at this, but what you're going to see is this. This should have come back. KB Homes, you know, went up 100%. You know, we went from 502 up to 12 bucks, 13 bucks to be exact, right? 13, yeah, 1312. Okay, so last time had any juice. It already tested the highs with no juice. Well, if you want to see what sticks out like a sore thumb, it's a 50% retracement, but it's also $9.24. Okay. Now, KB's not a buy right here. This is what ends up happening. Is that, first off, you get an acceleration up 100%. When you get that, folks, I don't care what equity it is. They have to retrace. That's not how the market works. You get the retracement. Now, as you get the retracement, number one, you have to wait for a couple different things. You have to wait for the volume to come in correctly. You have to wait for another sign of strength. And then after that sign of strength, bottom line, if it pulls back on light of volume, then you're going to be all over it. KB Homes right now is going into 22 million shares. We're already done 6.5. What does that tell you? Well, it tells you that it's come down too hard. What it hasn't done yet, and this is pretty cool, it is, hasn't hit the high of the high volume bar, which is 924. Most of the time, the way this shakes out is this. You pop down there gets close to it, then it will get into it, then it will mess around for two or three weeks. Bottom line, you're going to want to be all over it. That's KB. So let's go over and look at Lanau. Lanau has been one of the strongest ones. I suspect that, yeah, you see, Lanau won't even budge. But Lanau is not a buy yet either. Lanau has gone from $12 to $26 nonstop. Now, Lanau is at $25. Well, Lanau wants to pull back to about $20. At $20, you can get excited about it. Now, I'm sure that there's many folks that say, how the heck are these home builders even alive? Never mind, and how did they make it through it? Well, in Lenar's case, I don't know all of them, but I know Lenar upside down. The reason I know Lenar upside down is that they're all over Florida, and I, you know, I, I basically followed them even in the downdraft. And the reason being is that they did one of the smartest things I've seen anyone do in the, in the basically in the housing business. And this is what they did. Lenar, folks, when the downdraft took place, Lenar, right, not right off the bat, but within about seven months, they cut to the chase. They sold thousands and thousands and thousands of lots. And that was at the beginning of the downdraft. And they took a huge loss, but they took it right away. So when they took that loss, so watch what happened. They took that loss. Big hit, right? But what happened is that when Congress changed the law, Congress had changed the law that you could claw back five years versus two. Right now, you know, if you, if you have a company only can claw back, you've paid taxes, you can only go back two years. Well, they changed the light and could claw back five. Two different things end up happening. So picture what happened. They took that large loss. That loss, immediately, they clawed back five years, so they got hundreds of millions of dollars back in a refund. That got them capitalized again. Then what do they do? About 16 months ago, they start buying land hand over fist again, right? Bottom line, they're building like crazy again, you know, and they're building at the right price. So, uh, and what ends up happening, uh, what, what has happened in many parts of Florida is this. 
is that you still you have plenty of people that got burnt on real estate. They want nothing to do with it. They have plenty of money, and so what they're doing is renting. And the rent structure, okay, is so. Picture this: if you if, and this is in any business, but in particularly in the real estate business, it doesn't matter the ups or downs if you're not leverage over the price of what the rent is coming in with the bills are. That's the bottom line. That's how it works. So the cash flow of the rent structure is absolutely crucial to understand. They have that in line first. The second part of this gets, to me, gets me even more intriguing. And what that is, is this, is that the amount of money that has been pushed out here, okay, is inflation going to come in? Yes, it is. But it's going to come in a lot later than folks think it's going to come in. The reason being is that the Fed is going to err on the side of funny money. The reason being, folks, is that these banks were worse off than any of us realize. And so when you go downtown like that and you're that bad off, the bottom line is that you'll go to the other side. And the ironic part, of, of course, is that you, you hear whether it's the you know, politicians and reg well, mostly the politicians out there, they're, they're claiming that, uh, you know, the Fed shouldn't have done this and shouldn't have done that. Let me tell you, I don't agree with some of the things they did, but the bottom line is that if that amount of money was not put in the system, folks, we'd all be out in the street. And it, it wouldn't be a good, good scene. But anyway, if we fast forward, if you fast forward, you know, two, two and a half years, my take is that, yeah, inflation is going to come in. And in the, in the real estate market, of course, what do you have? Well, that... You know, if you think gold is a good hedge, let me tell you something. Inside real estate, you got it all. You got it all and you got it in the spade. So if that kicks in, uh, you're going to see a kick in. And I do think uh, in the gold market right now, at 1654, yeah, I, I, 1500s in the cards out here. Uh, what's also in the cards, though, is this, is that if I take a look at gold, and depending on how long you've been in the metals market, what when you have a huge accelerations up like we did, folks, Gold can consolidate for about a year and a half, and it drives everyone crazy. But let me tell you something. It's a beautiful thing when you really understand what markets like to do. You know, if we go back, let me, let me just, uh, I'm going to bring it back with a little history. If we go back in 2004, gold consolidated from April of 2004 over to August of 2005. That consolidation was four, from 420 to, uh, from 370 to 414, to four, to, 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 no, from 320 to 470. So picture that. Percentage-wise, that's a monster. That's, a, well, that's 30 percent, okay? So there's one consolidation. That was the first floor. The second floor was even more intense. The second floor, the consolidation was from 535 to 732. That's 200 bucks, $200, okay? That is what? Two, four, that's another 30 percent consolidation. The next one was absolutely even crazier. That consolidation was from 674 to 1000 bucks. That consolidation lasted from September 07 to August 08. Then what do we do? We went straight up. We went up from 16 600 to 1900. We've only been in this consolidation now for three, six, seven months. This, this consolidation, it's a, it's a nice consolidation. Let me tell you, uh, that consolidation, though, is you want to be buying down at about the 1500. The 1500 is the bottom, the 1900 is the high. This will go on for a year, year and a half, and then what are you going to have? Then you're going to break top side, and you're going to get to 24, 2500. What happens there, though, folks, is time's on your side. That, that 24, 2500, five years from now, won't seem like a lot of money. Well, it will be a lot of money, but it's just like anything else. I wouldn't when I was a kid, uh, I used to go to store with my mother every day, right? So, picture, in the city, it's no big deal. It's, it was down the street. Milk, bread, and cigarettes. 98 cents. <laughs> yeah, sick. 98 cents. Never forget it. Milk, bread, and cigarettes, of course, now, what? 20 bucks. Milk, bread, and cigarettes, when my children of my age are going to be, what? $200. That's just kind of the way it goes. That's, that's you know, that's what happens over, over the course of time. Let's go take a look at Apple. Uh, good old Apple. Apple refuses to, to uh, get uh, bitten. Apple right now is flat at five ninety nine. And what does she have? Okay, so on a ten minute chart, what you have is this. Uh, 
Yeah, she's she's gonna go. She's gonna she's gonna go attack the 60450 mark. That's how she wants to get right now. And what that is, that 60450 mark, folks, was the up spike from yesterday. And the reason I'm saying that is that uh, you had a buyer come in. That's actually at the close of yesterday. Yeah, at the close of yesterday, it, it spiked. So that's going to get tested. It gets tested with light of volume. Then what you're going to see is that it's going to come right back down into that uh, 598. What's going to get interesting about Apple is this, is that the uh, you had a bad tick on Apple at 9.50 a.m. on the 20, on the 20, on the 20th of March. That little baby will get tested, even though that's a bad tick, folks. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at King Dollar. What is King Dollar doing out here? Let's see what she's doing. Okay, so King Dollar right now. Oh, that's what I, that's the baby I want. Okay, cool. Okay, this is what we have. King Dollar came down today to 79.32, has 10,000 contracts, rejected that lower level. Uh, now, this is, this is what you need for next week. See, I think uh, this is where it's going to get really wild. It's going to be next week, but next week is that the, you have window dressing next week. It's probably, it could even be two weeks from now that the shot positions want to go on. Next week's going to get intriguing. We'll see. This is uh, Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. Don't forget, if you do want to um, go to Steve's Ambassador Trader Series, he has one in, in Tampa, April 13th, 14th, Boston, Massachusetts, April 27th, 28th. We're going to be right back. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective and maximize your returns. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors in point dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. 
right, folks. Turns out my best student became my best teacher. Steve Rhodes absolutely raised my standards, and I'll guarantee he'll raise yours. Thanks, Tom. What I've learned is that if you want more, you must become more, and that transformation, folks, that occurs the moment you decide to become a master. Now, the quickest way to mastery is through immersion, and for two solid days in Denver, Boston, and Tampa, I'll create a new standard of wealth for those few trader investors who have a burning desire to succeed. At my Master Trader course, I'll teach you how to create the ultimate money machine. These are the best-kept secrets in the business. Roadblocks, folks. Dabblers give up when they first appear. Stressors last just a little bit longer, but masters expect roadblocks and achieve extraordinary results when they bust right through them. I have all the benefit of knowing the type of wealth creation that I can generate for you. You don't. That's why I'm making this unconditional money-back guarantee. If for any reason you're not satisfied with my Master Trader course, I'll refund every penny. That's right. I take all the risk, and you get all the benefit. Go to the homepage at TFN.com and sign up today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Tom O'Brien, TFNN. Right now, you get the uh, Dow up one, NASDAQ down uh, one, S&Ps. Uh, look at this. Uh, that's interesting. The, the NQs are off 550. Boy, that's the, end, that's the end of the world inside the NQs. And NQs, of course, are the NASDAQ futures, uh, which uh, let me just see. Because, you know, Apple, folks, no doubt has held up not only the NQs, but they've held up the... Um, Composite also. This is interesting. Okay, so inside the NQs right now, what you have is this. Oh, let me see where I'm. I'm in Europe. Let's see. No, no, I'm here. Okay, so inside the NQs, this is what you have. You have Micron Tech uh, sending itself, uh, SanDisk, Wrangell Resources, and Dell. Let's go SNDK and see what's going on with SanDisk. SanDisk. Okay, so SanDisk's down a buck eighty-eight. Interesting. Okay, so hey, you want to see something that's pretty cool? So SanDisk. SanDisk. Gapped away on the 25th of January. Gaps away really nice, too. Uh, you know, uh, had a high of 50, $52.64, opens the next day at 45 Has volume down there for $31 million. What does it do? Now, check this out, folks. Okay, It, it goes from $45.50, goes all the way up and fills the gap at 51 again. Bottom line, now it's going to come all the way back down and to, and to go after that low again. You know, you want to wrap your head around how that works. The reason being, folks, it is absolutely a mind blow that, yes, they can get equities higher with lighter volume, and they just drop out of bed, and they go all the way back to the last time that had any volume in it. If we go to TVIX, uh, which we've been talking about, um, this little baby right now is down $2, trading at uh, $8.17, closed yesterday at $10, so it's down another 20%. And if we look at this, what you're going to have is this. Let me get, I have two different... The net asset values. I have. I actually have the intraday net asset value too. The intraday net asset value, as it stands right now, is seven dollars and ninety-four cents. So you can see what has happened in two days. The contraction of premium has gone from eighty-nine percent, eighty-nine percent down to three percent. Uh, let's go over to GAZ because GAZ will be the next one they're going to bang out here. Uh, GAZ when we started out was an eighty. Uh, it was actually at, a, I think it was, was GAC at 100%? I forget what it was when we just started out. Anyway, it's at 85% right now. Uh, the GAZ is down 34 cents, and you are going to see um, <laughs> that thing is going to also get basically toasted and roasted. That's going to be uh, blown apart. Why? Because now, um, see, market-wise, the, the amazing part about the TVIX deal, no doubt, was the amount... So picture this, folks. If you have a large portfolio, you don't want to be, you do not have to, and this is, the, hedging it inside the volatility index makes absolutely no sense. It, no sense whatsoever. I, I just, I just don't, I just don't get it, okay? The way that you do a flat-out hedge, okay, and this is what's really sick, because the, the professionals, most of them should have a Bloomberg, okay? And what ends up happening is this. So picture what you can do. I can, I can take a whole portfolio, I can put it inside the Bloomberg, and I hit a button, and it tells me flat out where a neutral, a delta neutral hedge is. And with that, so they, they have the tools to basically hedge out flat out. And I'm, when I'm talking about flat out, a delta neutral hedge means that you have 
hedge the position 100 percent and you won't make money or lose money. You know, it'll fluctuate, you know, very small intraday. But that's a true hedge. And what ends up happening with that true hedge is that the UI, let's say if you, if you had a weighting structure inside the S&P, well, it will tell you how many S&Ps you're gonna buy or sell. That's, that's when you're talking hedging, folks. That's what hedging's all about. You stay right there because coming up next, of course, is gonna be uh, the uh, Nadex Binary Option Hour. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. As you're driving to work, folks, make it a great one. Make it a safe one. We're gonna be coming right back.